the side actually the effect of a card. So I'm not going to activate the damn spellbinding circle. Normally this would be a problem, but there's nothing... <laughs> Can somebody clip that? Please. Can somebody clip Manny the Bug just self-destructing seeing how there were no monsters on my field? Because <laughs> that was awesome. How's it going? I'm back. Where we last left off, Yuki fought Yami Bakura because of the evil spirit of the ring. And then, after we duelled, we heard a scream! What was that scream? Let's find out. Uh. Just checking to see that everything is working. Okay. Just trying to make sure that I don't click on anything by accident. Okay. When Ter, Tristan, and Joey awoke, they thought Yuki's duel against Bakura was only a dream. I just thought, I just dreamt that Bakura went totally mental. Same here. Last time I snoozed with dueling cards on my pillow. Sleep well, guys? Yeah! The car! Don't hurt me! <laughs> Suddenly, the team heard a scream come from the words. <laughs> that sounded like mine. The team ran through the forest into the clearing and saw a very large duelist defeating Mai. Bye bye, birdies. My harpies, they're gone. I think you mean eliminated. Just like you. Not out of all your starships, you loser. Why, are you okay? This shy so free giving her a hard time. That's right, just like Pegasus pays me to do. Run out all of this filth on this island and dispose of it. Doesn't that make you a garbage man? Tristan, he has big dueling gauntlets compared to both Joey and Yugi. You really think you're going to make jokes like that? The guy could clob you. He could make you into a pretzel for crying out loud. This is no joke. Panic's one of the island's eliminators. And if you don't get out of here, he's going to do... He's going to do to you what he did to me. Check on her duelist gloves. Not a single star chip left. You're out of the tournament, Mai? I am. It all happened so fast. The way Panic duels, I just lost it. Ha! She was one of my easiest victims yet. Panic pushed Mai to the ground. You creep. There's no excuse for pushing a girl. Yeah, you tell him, Joey. I've dealt with a lot of bullies in my past, but I'm afraid there's only one way to deal with them. You have to stand up to them. Let's see you try. Let's see you try 
your intimidation tactics against me, Panic. I don't scare easily, especially when I'm standing up to my friends. Yu-Gi-Ho! Must be my lucky day. It's night, or it should be because it, this takes place in the night. Pegasus is probably a generous bounty to the later who defeats you. Think he's doing with some extra cash for inflicting bodily harm? Ha ha ha! I'll wager all my star tips I have. I'll wager all my star tips I have to win mine. It's a deal. If you win, I give. I give you all later for star tips because your bet makes no difference to me. What do you mean? What I mean, little Yugi, is when you duel against Panic, you're putting much more than just your measly star chips on the line. I can see the fear growing in your eyes. I do believe you're beginning to panic. Watch my name. Get it? It's a pun. Are you finished blowing smoke, Panic? The last time someone had the nerve to talk to me like that, I broke them in half. Now let's duel. You see, Tristan? This is why you don't mess with him. Otherwise, he will break you in half like a twig. Ancient telescope. See the top five cards in your opponent's deck for ten. I'm gonna try scissors. Ha! This is gonna be a good night. Hmm. Mother Grizzly? You shouldn't have this card in your deck, Yugi. Hmm. All I have are monster cards, so I may as well go into defense. <laughs> oh, crud. Okay, this is good. I may have taken a little bit of damage, but at least I got my catapult turtle on the field. So I'm going to flip this into defense mode and play this monster in defense mode too. Okay. Excuse me. I'll play Feral Imp. Okay, he didn't activate either of his face downs, so I'm just gonna attack his path. Well, I should have just sacrificed it. Increase the defense of all monsters on your side of the field by 300 points. Hmm. Hmm. I'll play this and then use my catapult turtle's effect and sacrifice this and give you 600 points of damage. Hmm. Okay, let's see it. Yep, Gaia. I can't attack, but... Ah! Just like this. Hmm. Ooh. In case he attacks, I'll play Swords of Revealing Light. Then I'll play Mammoth Graveyard to defend on attack mode. 
And since he has a monster with plus attack points, I'm going to attack the castle. Or he could play Mirrorforce again. He still can't attack yet. But that would mean I have to sacrifice one of my monsters. Okay. I'll tribute Mystical Elf to summon one of my Curse of Dragons. Then I'll activate Horn of the Unicorn and equip it to my dragon. Unless he's a Dark Illusion. Well, at the very least, he can't attack for three. For, I think two more turns. Okay. Ah, finally. Now I'll play Polymerization to fuse Gaia the Fierce Knight with my Cuts of Dragon in order to summon Gaia the Dragon Champion. And with that, he won't stand a chance. There we go. That's it. I'll summon Beaver Warrior, but I'm not going to let him attack. Instead, I'll use him as a sacrifice with my Catapult Turtle. And now to attack. Let's see what you got now, Panic. Hmm. Okay then. Good thing I have high level monsters. I think I just screwed him up right there. Oh, shoot. <laughs> what even? I can't. I can't summon my Dark Magician quite yet. Unless he does that. You got lucky. Hopefully it's not a man the bug. Hmm. What does he have that I can use as a sacrifice to bring my dog magician? Wait. The castle. I activate Monster Reborn. So I bring that one monster to the field. Then I choose the castle of the Dark Illusion. But why would you do that? So I can do this. I sacrifice my dog to track him with the castle of the Dark Illusion. To bring forth my dark magician! Now he's really screwed.
let's finish him out of the with Dark Magician. Dark Magic Attack! Nobody beats Panic! Nobody! Yugi, you're incredible! The Melody of Puzzle has more power than we thought! Yugi, I don't know what to say. Here, these Star Chips are yours. Take them. All ten of them. You did say there were eight, right? I'm sorry, but I can't accept them. I fight my own battles. My, Yugi gets his life in this duel for you. I know, but there's no crime in her. She's way too thick-headed, but she'd rather be burned on the island. I'll take him. <laughs> Do you think me losing all my star chips is funny, Joey Wheeler? <laughs> I thought you didn't want him, my. Give him back. Of course. You can have him. They're yours. What the hell are you doing? Did you let anything from this duel? You can't always keep your defense up. Keep your defenses up. Because they'll just get between you and the other people who are trying to be your friends. So can't you let your friend shield down just this one time? Okay, what card is that? King of Yami Makai. Um, okay. Just. Hmm. Okay, it's another Joey duel. Joey huffed and puffed as he ran in fear. He took a quick glance behind him to see Kaiba's blue eyes white dragon barreling down to on him. Blue eyes was about to make a snack out of Joey when Joey woke up from his nightmare. So they just skipped a duel between both Joey and Seto. And if the that's also from the episode when Seto just showed off a prototype dual disc and both he and Joey tried it. A dream? Phew. Kaiba, we'll see who eats the dog chow in this island. Everybody wake up! Joey, what's wrong? Nothing's wrong. It's a brand new day of the tournament and I'm hard to f and I'm there. Yeah. And I'm hard to find us a duel. Well, you don't have to yell about it. Hey guys, what's all the commotion? Good morning, Taya. Where's Mai? Isn't she with you? She said she had to go. And again, you just know it, Yugi. The note said that Mai borrowed Ace of Yuki's star chips. Well, you can kiss those star chips goodbye. I don't know. Maybe we can really... Maybe we really can trust Mai. And in that, we're still a Team Supreme, right? Right. Alright then, move out! I wonder how many duelists are left on this island. They shipped a couple dozen home yesterday. And I bet even more have been eliminated by now. And some of them are really good players with powerful cards. We could be next. Not a chance, you. Wait, that's Joey. Not a chance, you. Those other guys just wanted the prize. You and Joey have a lot more at stake. That's true. I gotta rescue Grandpa from Pegasus. And Joey needs the prize money for the help of his sister. The duels we face today will be even stronger because they survived the first round. Even stronger? Careful what you say, Yugi. You got little Joey here shaking his sneakers. What? Do you think I'm scared of little puppy dog? One of the collar frets. Alright, break it up. You just bring you just bring on any duelers and I'll cream them. Right. You gotta believe in yourself, Joey. Little did they know that they were being watched by one of Bandit Keith Crony's bones. There were two other guys, but they were cut from this story for some reason. We found two duelists. Watch the stupid git, but the other one is a good duelist. His name is Yugi. He's the kid who beat Kaiba. Everyone figures him to make it, figures him to make it out the way to Pegasus Castle. Yugi, huh? Yeah, I fought of him. He's supposed to be a tough little squirt. That is, if you believe his reputation. Also, they seem to remove Bandit Keith's cross when there was clear as day on the dub. 
I'm surprised I left it in. Yeah, we've never seen a duel. How do we know how good Yugi really is? Nobody is going to the castle except us. That's why I teamed up with the most brilliant duelist in the world, the whole island. That's right. So if you want to win this tournament, you'll keep cool and let Bannock Keith do the thinking for you. Hear me, Pegasus? Soon it'll be payback time. Payback for the way you humiliated me at the duelist. The duel must have ended in the Continental Championship. I can't read. And I'm an American. Look at my bandana. It all came down to you against me. And I had you right where I wanted you. I was sure I was about to win. But you just scribbled some notes to and called over a kid from the Valiants to, to, to do it in your place. Hey, what are you doing? Asking for help is illegal. I don't need help. A child could defeat you. And it's Keith. And I'm going to prove it. Pegasus handed it out to the child. Just follow these instructions and you'll win. I didn't know what to make of it. Were you just trying to psych me out? Or did you chicken out? Either way, it was fine by me. So long as I took the ho home the prize money. After Banner Keith played a card, the child looked at the note, followed the instructions, and took out the rest of Banner Keith's life points. What? You, sn you little snot-nosed brat. There's no way you could have known I was going to play that card. Bandit Keith snatched the note from the child's hand. Give me that! It's all here. The card I play, how to beat it, everything. No! You have to. You may have defeated me, Pegasus, but you cheated me. Nobody makes a fall on a Bandit Keith! You said you found two duelists? Yeah, you and some dweeb named Joey. Good! We'll make the dweeb out. We'll take the dweeb out first. Like the dinner? No, not like that, you numbskull. Did you hear that? I think we're being followed. I think you're getting a little paranoid, Joey. You've been acting hyper ever since, ever since you woke up this morning. What the heck is eating you anyway? I'm telling you, somebody's stalking us. Joey went uh, ran off into the woods. Where are you going? To stalk them. As Joey wandered through the woods, he thought he heard something behind him. Suddenly, Joey's whole world turned to black as he was knocked, he was knocked unconscious. The next thing he knew, he woke up inside a cave. What is this place? Welcome to the arena of lost souls. Abandon hope, for no duelist gets out alive. Prepare for your final duel. This arena will be your graveyard. The ghosts of the dead are all around you, Joey. There's no way to escape from your fear. I like to point out that Porkins actually got away with saying dead in this just for a brief moment. Huh? Who says I'm scared? You can't hide the truth from the spirits, Joey. They see you frozen in fear. Okay, I was afraid. But not because of the graveyard. Or your ooga book rap. It's your creepy face that gave me the willies! <laughs> Lay down your sources! Hey, I never even agrees with this duel. Tough luck. You haven't got a choice, dweeb. There has to be some way out of this. You want a way out? Well then, head on all your sources and crawl out like a scared little puppy dog. Joel remembered his nightmare informing Kyra and came to a realization. If I run from this... I really will be a scary little puppy dog. So I have to beat ya. Four star chips. Let's do it. Shadow Squamata. Never sure what that's gonna be. Oh boy. Please go first. 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 No, I wanted to go second. Oh, crap. What the? All I have is Baby Dragon. I'll just play two cards face down and then set Baby Dragon face down the field in defense mode. So it's shield and sword. Why do I have two of these? I got Joey had at least one of them, but why two? Call of the Mummy. Wait, he gets special. Oh no, he already summoned the Pumpkin King.
No, no, save it for the month. I'm gonna have to two nine with chain. And now I can use my Sakurito armor to destroy you, a monster. Already. Ooh. I summon Tiger Axe. That and now he's gonna summon another. Oh boy. Hmm. I'll play this guy face down. First, I'll attack his clown zombie, and then next turn, when he attacks, I can play my I can activate shield and sword. What sword and shield? Yeah, it's shield and sword. Okay, let's see. Nope, oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh boy. Hmm. And I'm done for. There's gotta be something I can use. You know what, I'm gonna reset. Okay, let's see. Paper covers rock, and I go second. Okay, let's see. Ah, dust on nail, that'll work. Play these cards face down. Oh, no fire. oh god. What? I can't. Ah, oh, crap. I can't. Wait, I have Kunai with chain. So if he attacks. Garuzis? I can't use him now. He is a fire attribute, but I don't have, but I can't summon him this turn. Okay, sorry about that. There was something going on with my Twitch. Well, not my Twitch, my Streamlabs, so. Anyway, where was I? Okay, I was gonna do. Ah! Scissors cuts paper! Grace for charity. <laughs> That's it. I'll play this card face down and this face down. 
Then I bring a good old X Raider. I think it just reset it my internet. Not my internet, but I think it just reset it my. I think switching connections just changed the. Just made me do a new stream. But okay, let me check. One, two, one, two. Is it working now? It's just when I had people watching. Hold on. Okay, it's it's working now. I had to reset. As Sarah made his way into the dungeon to save his brother, Pegasus spur sprung a trap and stole Monkey's soul, just as just as he had Yugi's grandpa. Subtle Kyber, do you care enough about your brother's life to try and save his soul? You're not human. Quite human, actually. Just extraordinarily gifted. Pegasus threw a handful of star chips at Kaiba. Ow! What? Why did you throw them at me? Here, you'll need these for your duel with Yuki. Why are you doing this? My reasons are none of your concern. Maybe I just enjoy the struggle. Watching this constant tug of war between you and Yuki boy. Or maybe I want something you're incapable of comprehending. Talk straight, what do you want? Want? I want to see if you're capable of defeating little Yugi in a duel. And only if you successfully crush him in, humi in a humiliating defeat with you getting the opportunity to duel me. Then, if you beat me, I promise to restore your brother's soul. For now, I have no choice but to play a game. But as soon as I defeat Yugi, I'll be back. And you'd better make a and you better make good on your promise to restore my brothers, because if you don't, I'll take great pleasure in separating your soul from your body with my own way. With my own two hands. And my blue eyes white dragons. Working a lot better now? Okay. And with that, Pegasus had another duelist under his control to take down Yuki. Yugi and I have enough starters to get into the castle now. Isn't that right, Yugi? Yeah. Also, they just skipped the Paradox Tag Team duel for some reason. Maybe Konami couldn't implement it or Other Ocean couldn't. Finally! Grandpa, here I come! Hey guys, look! You're not gonna believe who's blocking our way to the castle! It's Kaiba! I won't let you pass, Yugi. You shall not pass! Just pulls up a staff for no reason. I've won 10 starships, so stand aside! You may have won enough starships to qualify to the Duel's Kingdom playoffs, but I can't allow you to face Pegasus. He's mine. You and I are going to have one final duel, Yugi. I'm not dueling you. I don't have to. 
So, knowing you're confident that you so-called heart of the cards can help you win, you're just afraid you can't beat me a second time, you, you coward. Back off! He doesn't have to prove anything! Yugi, you said you won by tapping into the heart of the cards. And for a long time, I didn't know what that meant. But now, I think I do. And it took Pegasus to show me. He gave me reason to put my heart in the cards. For the first time, I can do with fire and passion in my heart. Oh God. Uh, chat? I think Kaiba has gone crazy. Does anyone else think he's gone crazy? Because I think he's gone crazy. Seriously, Kaiba, what's with those eyes? Yugi, you can't accept this. I've changed. I deserve a rematch. Give me a chance to play you now. Yugi, let me play you for the right reasons. Kaiba, I accept your duel. We'll see what you've really learned. Atomic Automatopia? There. Oh, I'm playing as Kaiba this time. Does that mean I get to use blue eyes? Please let me use you. Ooh, pot of greed. I summon the Celtic Guardian. And I'll play one card face down and then my turn. Hmm. It's my turn. I activate pot of greed. Which lets me use two... Which lets me draw two cards. Then I'll play Fusion Sage. Which allows me to get a polymerization from my deck. Okay, play one card face down. Then I'll play Summoner's Art. Then bring out a Blue Eyes. And now I'll summon Battle Locks in attack mode. Then I'll attack his Celtic Guardian. Really? He didn't activate a single. He didn't activate his face down. Not gonna activate Get to the Mystical Elf yet. Oh, so they're feeling light, huh? Ah. Hmm. Yep. I like to put the spell card D spell and target your swords of revealing light. Play one monster face out in the field. Wait a minute. It's a tuner, but why? Synchros don't exist yet. I should have played these spell right there. Hmm. I'll attack the blue one and then my turn. Yugi's not playing around. Hmm. Refresh the chat. Is anybody here? Doesn't say who's actually watching, by the way. It just says the amount of views I have. I'll play Wall of Illusion and attack. Now I can get rid of two of his scapegoats. Then I'll let my turn. Hmm. Ah, another one. But I'll play Aqua Mador.
I'll attack his last scapegoat, then use Battle Ox to attack his face down. Oh, as a Celtic Guardian. Then I'll attack directly with Wild Illusion. That's it. Hmm. I activate D spell and I'm going to target the one face down you have. It's Mirror Force, so I can't attack. Hmm. There's no way the air is going to be this stupid. Nope. It sees what I'm doing. And now it just brought up a Karibo. Are you kidding me? You just gave me a Karibo. It's like he's mocking me at this point. Like, yeah, I know you're just gonna bring up, bring up a blue eyes, but hey, you get a Karibo instead. Hmm. Gonna keep my on the field and have this monster attack. The eye of would I have truth. Great, now you see my entire hand. I can't even see my own hand now because of this. And I get another blue eyes. Can't summon any monsters now. Oh, now he plays it. Let's see, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, God. Wait. I activate polymerization. Now I fuse all three of my blue eyes to bring up blue eyes ultimate dragon. And it just glitched. That's not where I wanted to put it, but okay. And since I didn't summon a monster, I will summon the Jin, the mystical genie of the lamp. Hmm. Could be another mirror force. I can't attack for three turns. Crap. Well, I had another D spell to activate. And he's just giving me a lot of life points at this point. See, he has two Celtic Guardians and a Karibo, so I can't use that. I don't have anything for this. And 
And destroy store through revealing light. Hopefully he doesn't have one more. I spoke too soon. He is trying to deck me out at this point. This is all I can do right now, just have all three sort of feeling like just stop. Oh, and the lamp itself. Kill the soul before dance. Why isn't he summoning anything? I just noticed that. Like, after I got Ultimate Dragon, Yuki hasn't even summoned anything. I'll give him this, just to screw with him. I'll play this card face down and end my turn, I guess. Activate what card? Oh. Okay, I'll activate this and get more life points. Even though I have a lot. And I can't go to zero. Ooh, Polly. Wait, Polly? Why did you put that there? Hmm. I like to make Monster Reborn and bring out my blue eyes. Because I have some suspicion that if I attack... While I'm at it, I'll have three of these go with defense mode for that. For now. Then I'll attack. Oh boy. What do you got this time? Wait, why are you going for my battle ox? You could have got my blue eyes. It he probably just summoned because of dragon. Right, because the dragon has 1,500 defense points. Yep! Don't need this anymore. I'm not attacking him because if I, because if I do, I, he might just activate Mirror Force. Or I'd like to wait scapegoat. And I don't have any others. I don't have any more D spells. At least I got half of his defenses down. He's got 12 cards left. Could have summoned. I'll play He Tatsumi Giant. Let's see if he actually has another mirror force. Okay, I guess not. Oh, Yuki is just screwed. You're done for, Yuki. Blue eyes. White lightning attack! And I did it with like 21,000 life points. Yugi refuses to finish his attack against Kaiba because he would be having inflicted physical harm. When Yugi refuses to, refuse to attack, Kaiba struck and took the victory. I can't believe it! That on the hand of sleeves while wiped Yugi out! I'm sorry for your grandpa, but he did the right thing. You would have had to hurt Kaiba. 
And I know your grandpa wouldn't want to do want to say it that way. Then I guess he got what he wanted. If Yuki had done what needed to be done, he would have been entering the castle, not me. But he was too weak to follow through on his play. You tried to kill yourself by having yourself go close to the edge of the castle. Pegasus' plan had worked to perfection. Good job, Kaipa boy. As you wish, I will be your next opponent. Little Yugi didn't fare nearly as well as his rematch. His spirit is broken, and his grandpa's soul remains mine. <laughs> Ooh, a girl fight. It's Terry against Mai. Yugi? Come on, Yug. Why won't he answer us? I've never seen him like this. He's totally out of it. Well, he did just lose his only chance to face his grandfather. My came sauntering up the steps of Pegasus Castle. What's that? You guys up in the star ships to get into the castle. Why are you heading out here? It's you. He lost his chips to Kaiba. And now he's like, that's like he's lost the will to go on. So the little guy finally lost one, huh? Lucky for you guys, I came by. Last time, Yugi, you can beat me, but that doesn't mean it's the end of the world. You got beat. What the hell am I saying? When I got beat, I thought it was over for me too. But then you stepped in and saved my star chips. And now I'm returning the favor. But if you give up your star chips, star chips, you can't win the prize money. I'm being kind, not stupid. Whoa, she's already got ten star chips on her own. Go on, Yugi. You know that I owe you one, so take them. Are my star chips not good enough for you? Fine then, I'll keep them. And your friends can wipe your nose all the way back to the nursery. Grow up! Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. My, don't get mad. You just don't understand. Oh, I understand. Your friend lost one lousy duel and I was too chicken to play again. Isn't that right? How pathetic. Come on, chicken boy. Do me for them. I'll do you. I'll do you right here, right now. For Yugi. Why didn't you tell her that he lost to Kaiba? I mean, I'm pretty sure she would have understood. She would have understood that. Like, oh, I didn't know that. Wow, Ted, this deck is awful. You know, some shining friendship. Then I'll equip civil bow and arrow to it. I have a feeling that this is like. At least I didn't lose life points. I should have played Fairy's Gift. Okay, that's just uh, that's just embarrassing. I'll attack this. Let's see what Mai's got. She got another Harvey's pet baby dragon. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Ooh, 1600 attack points added in, giving it a two, giving it to 3000. This isn't going to end well for her, so she's going to bring a harpy lady. Wow, Taya. I didn't know you had that card in your hand. Or even your deck, for that matter. Why did she... Oh. Let's 
That's okay. That's all right. It's even more right because I now have D spell. I'll play another fairy's gift. I'll use that to attack her harpy and then attack her directly with 3,000 life points going down. Whew, that's a big attack. Why did you bring that? You could have brought out your harpy lady. I'll set this card face down and activate. Dang it, it couldn't have it couldn't activate on the turn it was summoned, so she's pretty much toast at this point in the next turn. Should have played that. Then I'll switch this to the fence. Next turn, she's done. And she brought back a harpy. Wait a minute. Actually, this car was kind of car is going to Wow. That's really all she's got. Okay. I guess she's done for. Actually, no, I'm going to. Gonna destroy Harpy's channeler and attack her Harpy lady. Ah, oh, crap. I didn't notice the attack point and defense points difference. That was my bad. Okay. Crap. Uh, is Matthew still here? Oh, I could have attacked with just with just this. Well, I thin her deck even more, so that's that. Now I can attack her with the Magician of Faith. Just beat her with a low monster. I surrender, Taya. I'll have the cards to win. You're darn right. I won! Way to go, Taya! You, you really came through for you. Good match. Whatever. I don't need these star chips anyway. Mai gave her her star chips and started to walk away. Wait, Mai, I have to ask you something. If you played that last card, would you have won? It was a throwaway. It was nothing that that Teo wouldn't have been able to beat anyway. Some cards just aren't worth playing, huh, Yugi? Thank you. Yugi, I, um, I won these star chips for you. I know. Thank you so much. Sure thing. I'll never forget what you did for me. Taya. You overcome your fears for me. And you've given me the courage to steal the mine. I will do it again. And hopefully the consequences won't be as bad as I fear. Ooh, champion versus creator. 
Yugi and his friends entered the castle. They found out that Pegasus had granted Kyber his prize. Kyber was about to duel Pegasus. Where's my brother? What? No hello? No how are you? I thought we were friends, Kyber boy. Don't tell me that kidnapping Mokuba and seizing control of your company has put a rift between us. It was nothing personal. Besides, it's not like I hurt your kid brother. He's perfectly safe. In fact, you, you can have him back if you like. Beat me in a duel and I will release him as promised. But fail, and not only will his soul remain in bondage, but yours will join it. To save your brother, you have to defeat me. Defeat you? I'll crush you. Ready, Kyra? Your brother's fate hangs in the balance. We've known each other for a long time, and now we'll see if the master of this is the duel monster's creator or the champion. Time to duel. Hold on real quick. And now I'm playing as Pegasus. I'll summon this monster face down. Oh, I got Toon Goblin Attack Force? Okay, I know Kyra has blue eyes white dragons. Three of them, in fact. Hmm. I can't summon any tunes, otherwise they'll be destroyed. And why do I have this? This hand just sucks. And they just special summon the... A rude kaiser, that's what I thought I was gonna say. Dang, you know, you gotta get rid of almost half of my life points. Ooh, pot agreed. Okay. I'll take his root Kaiser. And then I'll sacrifice it for Parrot Dragon. There, now I can attack. I'll save this card for later in case he summons the blue eyes. And thankfully he doesn't have mirror for us on the field yet. No. I'm gonna save this for blue eyes. Wrong choice. Hmm. And now, to set, to set my plan in motion. Well, once I got my Paradragon, he suddenly started to get bad. I don't think he's going to summon Blue Eyes now. Unless he plays something to special summon it. Wait, why do I have polymerization? Bickery box. Okay, Crash Clown and Dream Clown. I don't think I have another Dream Clown on my deck.
I don't think I even need Toon Weld. It's a good thing I didn't attack with Parrot Dragon. Please summon a monster, Kaiba Boy. It's like you're not even trying, Pegasus. Ooh. Ooh. Welcome, Kyra, to Toon World. Let the fun begin. Since I was... Oh, they can't attack on the turn they're summoned. I got a better idea. Hello, PS4. PS4? No, I'm playing this on Steam. B Dog, I am playing this on Steam. Oh, it's a. I wasn't paying attention to the song. It's my bad. Now I attack. Attack, yes. Thanks, since I have a tune, you can attack directly thanks to Tune Weld. Just waiting for him to summon the blue eyes. And since the tune, it can't be attacked. What? Since I have less life points than Kyber, I can double make can double my paradox attack. There we go. Now it's even stronger than blue eyes. Wait a minute. Guys, I think I screwed up. Wait, really? Oh my god.
ignore that, please. Why do I have three polymerizations? When I always have enough. Keep getting it. I can't attack in the town. I summon a tune. Oh, Kyrie is just screwed at this point. And done. <laughs> I didn't even get to use it to destroy this. You lose, Kyber boy. And you've lost much more than just this duel. You've lost the only chance you had in risking your baby brother. You let him down. But don't worry, my dear friend. I will spare you the agony of carrying on in this one without him. Pegasus held up a black a blank card. Black cards don't exist. What is that? It is the final faith of your soul, said O Kaiba. Maximilian Pegasus captured Kaiba's soul with his millennium eye, trapping it in the blank card. Pegasus now had sent O Kaiba, Mokuba, and Yugi's grandpa's souls. Welcome to your new home, a place of solitude and sol seclusion. Bleh. I have the brothers Kaiba, one in each of my hands. Not e but even though your cards are so very close, your souls have never been further apart. And this leads us to four more duels. We have to do mine, then Keith, then Joey, and finally Pegasus. Checking to see if I got everything. The time had come for the Duelist Kingdom Tournament Finals, and Yugi and Joy were more than ready. I sure hope I'm doing the right thing and deciding to duel again, but with Grandpa's soul at stake, I have to. Yugi and Joy walked to the arena and met with the two other finalists, Mai and Bandit Keith. Bandit Keith cheated his way into the finals and had no plan to stop. Yugi, Joey, Mai, and Bandit Keith, I welcome all of you to the playoff arena. Here is where the last great Duel Monsters duels shall be waged to determine the championship of the Duelist Kingdom. Only one of you shall emerge victorious. Only one of you shall win the three million dollar prize. And of course, the victor in the playoffs shall also earn the right to challenge me in the final match. The victor will be granted one request, whatever his or her heart most desires. And if it is within my vast power to do so, their wish will be granted. The victor will also be declared the undisputed Duelist Kingdom Champion, ranked number one in the world. And boys, that'll be me. Surely anyone that has come this far must realize that this title, and not the, and not the money. Is the real prize. Is that not so? You're a regular comedian. The money's all I need for my sister's operation. Yes, yes. I'm sure some of you have more writing on this tournament than the others. Right, Yugi? I hate you, Pegasus. You've got my grandpa's soul and Mokuba. And even several Kaiba. Captive. But I'll find a way to defeat you, Hannah, and save them all. The first semi-final match was Yugi versus Mai. Although Mai was now friends with Yugi, she was playing to win. I used to think the only person the duelist could trust was myself. Everyone else was just an opponent. But I met Yugi, and I learned through his th through him that the strongest opponents in the, in the arena could still be friends outside it. If he hadn't loaned me his starship. I may never have made it to the final round. I owe him the very great debt. I promised Yugi an hour duel, an hour duel, duel, and that's just what I'm gonna give him. But if he thinks that means I'm not gonna get my battle all out, he's dreaming. I'm gonna give this match everything I got, so when Yugi goes down, it'll be a victory to be proud. I can be proud of. 
I promise you, I'll go do not an easy one. Uh, this is why I need to prepare with some of water. So yeah, this could be the last duel I do for tonight's stream, so... She's brought out Hoppy Lane 1 and Elegant... And she brought up the Sisters in 110. This is not going to be good. I don't think so. Oh, I should have saved that for the Harpy Sisters. Ooh, already. And now I summon Black Lutz the Soldier. I'm not even going to equip the horn to him. Ooh, she's scared now. I brought a big monster and now she can't attack. Gonna summon Feral Imp. And I'll equip him with the Horn of the Unicorn. Okay, she got a harpy lady onto her hand, so. Huh, she didn't play a card face down. What did she play? Harpy's channeler. Hmm. So this card's pretty much useless. She can't attack me for three more turns, so. Elegant Egotesk. She can eat. She can't. She just remembered that she can't attack, so. Well, if only I could use you, Dark Magician, but I can't. I already got Black Ops a Soldier. Ooh, that's a big attack. That was that I meant to draw the card I needed. Oh, right. It was the heart of the cards. Yes. Let's see if she summoned another harpy lady. She summoned a challenge. A channel, I bet. Ooh, she's on the 50. I think I'm going to play Monster Reborn and bring out her harpies. Is she play Mirror Force? Was this your plan, Mai?
Just shield yourself with harpies. No, wait, there is one he can attack. I got a lot more life wins than her, and she's just not gonna do anything. She is trying to do everything she can to defend herself from me. This is not going to end well for her. Put this in just to mock her. Oops. Oversight. Should have used Black Lotus to attack her Harpy sisters. Gonna get that card to my hand now, so. Yeah, she's done. You're done, Mai. You're done. Wait, Mai, there's something I want to say to you. Huh? Thank you. You said a duelist can learn more from defeat than victory, and you were correct. But you... Mai, you taught me a lot today. I had to confront my own fears and weaknesses, or I could never have defeated you. It's not very nice of you to say that, but it seems to me I also still have a lot more to learn. About dueling and about myself. But then, I suppose no duelist ever learns all that there is to know. And maybe the most important lesson is the defeat. That defeat doesn't have to be forever. You won this duel. You won this duel, Yuki. But there'll be others. You and I will meet in the arena again, kiddo. And when we do, you better watch out. They never duel each other again. Anyway, guys, that's that's gonna be it for me today. And before I end it, let's think. Who am I going to raid? I think who is online tonight? Oops. Mm. I guess there's nobody to raid tonight. So anyway, you guys enjoy yourselves. Cause I'm done, at least for now. Good night.